Hello and welcome to another Festival Pro tutorial video. Um, today we are going to have a look at some mail merge, um, some advanced mail merging. And we're going to look at how we can do this, how, how we can um, set it to show certain mail merges um, dependent on other information within the system. So in this case we're going to use performance fee. I'm just going to go to the email template for this that I've set up. And we're going to be looking at blank and not blank today. So if I edit this email template, you'll see at the top here is a, just a standard mail merge. We're asking for the artist fee and then we put in the mail merge for their performance fee, which we find up in this menu here artist performance fee. Now there's the blank and not blank down below. Now these are things that um, aren't in the menu. These are advanced mail merge tags that you can use. If you use the blank you then have to put ahead of it the name of the field that you want to indicate um, is blank and then the text in the middle will only show if that field is blank and you have to finish it with a with a finish tag like this. So in this example, if the performance fee is blank, this text here will show. However, if the performance fee is not blank, um, then this will just vanish. It won't be there. Um, so the bit below, not blank performance fee. Now this is only going to show and it will include any extra tags and stuff that you put in the middle between here and the finish. I'm going to save this and we'll just show you in practice. So I'm going to use this artist here. And we're going to go down to their performance fee. And to begin with, I'm going to leave this as blank. No performance fee set. So now if I send them this blank, not blank email template, we can see the artist fee. This uh, obviously is not showing up. This is that first line. Let me just open up the email template again and we'll put these side by side. So here we have artist fee, performance fee. And obviously that's not showing anything here because that field is blank. Then we have this row here, blank performance fee. Now this is showing up because the performance fee is empty. The performance fee is blank. However, the line below is not there because this will only show if the performance fee is not blank. So now let's, um, we're going to go back to the artist. And this time we're going to set a performance fee. And we'll pay them 666. And we can click on, go to the same email template. And now we can see it's flipped around. So here the artist fee has been pulled in because it's been set. It's this top line here. we can see that that middle line has not been pulled in because the artist fee is now not blank which means the third row has brought in and it has brought in that mail merge tag of 666 in the middle of the line as expected so if you just need to customize your mail merges a little bit more and have a few conditionals in there uh, this is a good way to do it um, have a play around, set it up in your system. Um, the key to remember is that anything between the finish that you have to put in and the beginning tag will be subject to this condition here, blank 
and then the name of the field. This doesn't have to be performance fee. I'm just using that. This is an example, but this name here will have to match up with whatever the mail merge field is. So if we were to do um, perhaps if the dressing room was was blank, that is what you'd have to put in here instead of performance fee. You'd have to replace performance fee with dressing room. Um, a lot of the fields are quite self-explanatory um, and your custom fields that you put in here yourself you will know the names of but you can always find them again in the mail merge list and just pop them above um, and copy and paste down so hopefully that's been a little bit helpful and showing you how to uh, filter out your email templates a little bit um, according to what information is in the system already <laughs> Some always in the never gonna work all day.